Hi guys, welcome to episode one of EG Edits, MLB The Show 24 Pirates franchise. So, we're here in spring training right now. It'll be one separate episode because we're going to have to, like, make the roster. Um, and first we have to extend David for your deal. I can give him, like, $30 million so I don't waste any money. Like, watch. I'll give, like, 38 mil. No, wait. Salary too low? Okay. Perfect. 41 mil. And this year, we actually have O'Neal Cruz, because remember, last year, under last year, he was hurt, so we won't have to worry about that this year. I'm just going to simulate through spring training. I'll make the roster movements with you guys. See you there. So now spring training is over, and um, it looks like we can edit this baseball team now. So Mitch Keller, no matter what, he's going to be our opening day starter, even if he had a 631 ERA. He could add a 20 ERA, and he would have been our opening day starter. Looks like Martin Gonzalez is going to take that number two spot. Martin, I like him in the number four or five spot. That'll be good. Now Bailey Falter. We're going to have to see what Ortiz and Priester. So, Priester's making it. It's either going to be Ortiz or Falter being sent down. And we're going to send down Braxton Ashcraft. So, I think we can send down um, Falter. Just because he had a higher ERA. But, no. Ortiz. Yeah, Ortiz getting sent down. Jared Jones and Paul Skeen's going to start the year in AAA. Now, relievers. Araldis, you have to make the team. You're out of options. Older men, you're making the team no matter what. Move Oviedo to Class A because in real life, he's injured and I do not want him playing this year. Hernandez didn't get any stats, so send him down. Baraki made the team, so there's three relievers. There's four relievers right there, Ronzi. Five relievers, Josh Fleming. Six relievers, Honeywell. Seven, Majinski. And then eight Bednar. Or we could just get rid of like Honeywell and put in um Stratton, but nah. Although Stratton's stats were great, so should we send down Honeywell? Majinski. Send down Majinski. Catchers, it's gonna be Davis and Grandal. Bye bye delay. And Endy, you're hurt, so we can't really do anything about that. Connor Joe Tellez going to platoon at first base. Now, second base, this is always tough. So, Sung Che Chang is already going to get sent down. because he, He's not that good. Alika also going to get sent down. He's not that good. Now, Pagero could make the team, possibly. There's a case for Peggy to make the team, honestly. Move Nicky G to AAA. He was a legend last year. Triolo, Juwan Bay. I think Bay makes the team. I think we have to send down Triolo. Because I like Bay. Bay's a good player. And then Hayes, obviously. And then Brian Reynolds, Eddie O. So bye bye Smith and Jigba. And then these guys make it. And then bye bye Palacios. And then I'm going to simulate to the regular season, which is today. And then. Oh, yeah, I did say Bailey Falter was going to be on my team. I I forgot he's on my team. So, this is going to be our pitching rotation for this season. Well, as of right now. And then this is the bullpen. Now, let's make the lineups. Cruz... Reynolds, Hayes, change Swinski and McCutcheon up, make Grandal play that day, Bay, Michael A. Looks like that's going to be our lineup versus righties and then versus lefties, almost the same.
And then this first lefties. Perfect. We got our lineups. I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, guys. So, we're getting into this epic baseball game. Move tripod forward a little bit. Sorry about the bad camera work. It's just... Sorry if it's, like, a lot shaky. That's just because my phone is charging right now because I forgot to charge it overnight. And I didn't realize it was at a low percentage. I thought it was at, like, 57, but it's actually at 7. So that's why the phone is a little bit shaky screen for you guys. So. Let's just get into this game, guys. Alrighty, so Yuri Perez on the mound for the Miami Marlins, whoever this guy is. Let's hope he gets crushed by the Bucks today. Alrighty, O'Neal Cruz in the leadoff spot, and here we go! Swing and a miss to start the baseball game. Foul ball. O2 count. I meant to put on quick counts, so that's on my part. Ball one to Cruz. Yeah, I did mean to put on quick counts, so that's my bad. There's a ground ball, gets through the hole for a single. O'Neill Cruz starts the year with a base hit. I'm surprised the third baseman couldn't get to that. Alrighty. There's ball one. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, boys. Ah. For this, a new video will drop every day. At noon Eastern, unless I'm on vacation. And Reynolds swings and misses at strike two. I'm always late on, like, every single pitch. I honestly have zero clue why, but yeah. There's a not a high fly ball right to the center fielder for the out. That'll bring up key Brian Hayes, who kind of had a broke out year with breakout year last year with the bat, but yeah, takes ball one. Oh my watch is going off. Come on, watch, stop going off. Take strike one. I I actually meant to swing at that, but I didn't. I don't know why. But, yeah. And that is a double play. End of the inning. Keller coming on to pitch. Here's Mitch Keller on the mound pitching to Jazz Chisholm a little bit. Jazzy. There's a pop-up. Telez, get that. Get that. Yes, Telez. Let's go. Now Brian De La Cruz batting for the Marlins takes ball one. And that is gone. Brian De La Cruz hits a home run. That ball was absolutely scorched. Now, Keller, you got to lock in. Just forget about that. It's only the first inning. We're down 1-0. Just lock in, Keller. Get that bay. Nice. Two outs. This year, we, we sadly do not have Groot for this. And if you watched it last year, you know who Groot is. You guys probably remember if you watched last year. 
And Jack Selinski going to lead off this inning for the Bucks. As he swings and misses at strike one. Come on, Jack. You got this. Strike two. Oh, man. Yuri Perez is throwing some nasty pitches. Fouled off the slider, so he's still alive. <sighs> Looks like pitch. There's a, that should be a hit, and he's out. I could have swore that was a hit. I could have swore he was safe, but whatever, he's out. Come on, Kutch. I don't know why I swung at that in the first place. Kutch, second straight year with the Bucks. Last year, mid-September, an Achilles sprain took him out for the rest of the year. And here's the newcomer in Pittsburgh, Rowdy Telez, taking ball one. In real life this year, Rowdy Telez has been, oh boy, don't even get me started on Rowdy Telez, you guys are going to say in the comments. But he's not been the best. <laughs> That's all I can say about him. He's not been the best. Either is Michael A. Taylor, who will be batting up shortly. Unless we get out of this inning. And so has Yosemite Grandal. Our team this year. Our free agent acquisitions have not been the best. And he's out. How how worse could this literally be? This is absolutely horrendous. As Keller's pitching to Josh Bell. Josh Bell will fly out to Jack Selinski for out number one. Top of the third, two outs. Here comes G1 Bay to the dish after back to back strikeouts. Bay rips one foul. So here's G1 Bay. And that is going to be foul once again. Come on, G1 Bay. You have that opposite field power in you. I know that I can feel it. And I was correcto mundo about that. There's a single for G1 Bay. Maybe try to swipe a couple bags on the base pass. With O'Neill Cruz at the dish, a scary hitter. Bucks now have a runner. Oh, he's out. No, 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 no. He's out. Keller now pitching to Christian Bethencourt. Bethencourt takes ball one. The pitch by Mitch. Ball strike. Okay. Okay, I'm cool about that. I don't know why I was like, strike. Get there, Michael A. Taylor. He let that drop, dude. How would you ever let those drop? Like, why? Okay, so the Marlins get a runner on. And Troy Johnston for the Miami Marlins, his first plate appearance in the majors ever, will be a double play ball. Ow! Double play! What a play by the Bucko defense. Here on day one. They've been good since day one in spring training. Now how can they bring that into the regular season? 2-0 count on Chisholm. Who his entire five-year career has been with the Marlins. He was originally with the St. Louis Cardinals. I believe they traded him to the Marlins when he was a young prospect. 3-1 count on Jazz. Take strike two again. Come on, right there, Keller. You gotta get him. Strike three looking! He looks at every single pitch of the at-bat. Keller gets him. Let's go to the top of the fourth. 
top of the order, O'Neill Cruz will lead off. He singled down the third base line last inning, or last time he was up. This time he singles down the first base line. Not down the line, but close to the line. And that'll bring up Ryan Reynolds with a runner at first once again. Last time he flew out to the center fielder. This time he will swing at a low fastball. Not my best camera work ever, but whatever. Come on, B-Ray. That is down the middle base hit. Runners at first and second with nobody out for key. Brian Hayes, I'm getting all excited here today. You got this, key. Let's go. See what you got, Hayes. Foul ball. If that was fair, that could have brought in Cruz with his elite speed. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And that's a ground ball double play. Hayes grounds into his second double play of the day. Come on, Selinski. You are our you're the cleanup hitter of this team. You gotta bring in O'Neal. Get locked in, Selinski. Get locked in. Strike one. A hundred. Wow. I swing at every pitch, guys. With every player. A foul ball. Come on, Jack. You gotta do something good, Jack Selinski. Gotta do something good, Jack Selinski. I don't know why my voice was like that for a split second. Ah, oh, foul ball. Come on, Jack, you got this. Here we go. Lock in. Strike three. Got him swinging. That is not good. Top of the fifth, one out. Mitch Keller gave up another solo home run in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Rowdy Telez, who fouls one off. We did not acquire him from Toronto in 2021. That was whenever he was with the Brewers, so something's wrong with this game. That is a base hit for Rowdy Telez. Come on, Yasmani Grandal, let's go. The slowest part of our lineup is at the plate. See what you can do, Yas. Monty Grandal. Yas at the plate. I don't know why they call him Yas, but whatever. Let's go, Grandal. And another foul ball. What is up with all these hard hit foul balls? And I did not know that Grandal was the first round pick in the 2010 draft. That is a new fact for me. Ground ball, double play. Boo. Who? Come on, Keller. Get back to the good pitching. Takes a strike. Jesus Sanchez at the dish. And he will fly out to Michael A. Taylor. Sorry if this video is really long, guys. It's just because of the spring training stuff and I forgot to put on quick counts. There we go, B-Ray out number two. Quick inning. Let's go, Keller. Let's go. A nice, quick... Four pitch inning for Mitch Keller. That is awesome. Let's go. Here comes Michael A. Taylor to the dish. Take strike one. Taylor, as you can see, 11 year career with four teams, fouled off. Let's go, Michael A. Taylor. You got this, my man. And he will strike out. G1 Bay, last inning, last time he was at the plate, we saw some of that contact that he can have. Come on, Bay. Bun opportunity, and he fouls it off. 
I just want Bay's elite speed to get on the base path. That's all I want to happen. Go. Out. That was a bad bond. Come on, Chris. You got this. Strike one. Fouled off. O2 count. I honestly don't know why we're like this right now. But. There's a. He's going to be out anyway. Yikes. Bottom of the six. This is Brian De La Cruz. Who's hit both solo home runs for the Marlins. Keller pitching to him. Strike one. Come on Mitch. You've pitched great besides those two solo shots. And that one will be B-Ray. He just has to run back a little bit for the ass. Uh... Speaking of B-Ray, he leads off the inning for the Bucks. One for two. And is that going to get down? It will not. It was in foul territory. Come on, B-Ray. You got this. Lock in. That's a high fly ball. Deep left, it's going back, it's going back, and it is gone! Brian Reynolds hits his first home run of the year! 360 feet, as we're going to clear the deck with a cannonball coming. Brian Reynolds leads off the inning with a solo home run to make it 2-1. to one. Let's go, Bucks! Here comes Key Brian Hayes. Ground ball foul. Go, Hayes. Strike two. And there's a hit.